Hello, welcome back. Last time I sunk in some quicksand and ended up in a place where I stumbled into a power cell and then also looked in a mirror and saw something really unsettling. So I think right now, one of me over there to the right is looking at a silicon bond machine. This is something I need to optimize. I've already solved it. So let's do it again better. So I need to get B out. Okay, so we're gonna do this. I will need that open again soon, but doing anything else is non-optimal here. Now, did I want to do that the other way? No. No, okay. So, we multitask with this move. Go up there, push that. Okay, gate is open. Now. I need that closed again. I'm gonna put you... here, I guess? That's probably good. Hopefully. Okay, so 33 at this point. In case that ends up mattering. Okay. Now... I can have you do this right now. Oh, no, I can't. It has to be a bit later. Okay. So I'm here. There are several things I could do here. That one works because I move first, so I don't get squished. Okay. I'm gonna go left. Keep that closed, because that's the way I want it. Right, B goes here. Uh, wouldn't it be better if Aunt I Me were in the hallway right now? Well, um, don't think I can engineer that. Other than just, like, moving him manually right now. Maybe that's what I want? Seems likely. Uh, maybe I want a little farther. Because you stay there, then I can use you to do this. I... no, okay, this is the correct order. You go around uh, maybe this way. Now I have a problem. Okay, so I think right here I need to do something different. Certainly don't want that. This doesn't wind up in a good place. Okay, so hang on. So if I... If I steer right, you go that way. I'm gonna go around like this. Move this B here. And I need to reposition anti-me somewhere. So this this one is weird. This turn needs to happen. Okay, yeah, so I push, you do that. I'm at 68 right now. I need you out of the way so I can do this without that going to the wrong place. Oh wait, that might be good, actually. There are things I like about that. Not enough of them. Okay, so in this state, I need anti-me one more to the left. And how am I going to do that? Needed to be in that hallway, right? So as soon as this happens... Anti-me goes to hallway. Okay. To the hallway. Yeah, okay. That's how I use the hallway to get you to the right column for that, because you don't have a wall to press against on your right side. Okay, great. Now, that's gonna have to open again. Which can kinda just happen whenever... Uh, not quite. Okay, so for this to happen...
Do I need to use the hallway again? Yeah, okay, so let's press against this door. Move anti-me over here. And maybe this far? Perfect. Okay. 90 moves. I feel like I'm possibly still optimal. I can't really tell for sure. I probably want to multitask with this move up because I do need to move up. Now, I can... Mm. Hold on, I do need to move up, but... Is it actually better to do this? Uh... Yeah, we can't make that push simultaneously, and we don't want to. Okay, so I might come back to this state if this turns out to be non-optimal. But my thinking is... I kind of want to think of these as two separate steps. Close the gates. Push the box. Then you come in here with me. You'll have to reopen that, sure. Then I go away... somehow. Oh wait, hang on, right, I have to... No. No, wait, right, there's a... I go away first. Okay, that's how it is. I push this down here. Then I go... Okay, so we have to move the box. I go up here. Ah, not yet. Hold up. Okay, right, so it has to be a very specific order. Box is there. I'm gonna put you here and just do these in separate steps and hope that's good enough. I think it might be. Uh, I don't like that I'm going through this hallway this way, but maybe it'll end up being okay. Uh, I feel like I'm no longer optimal. But let's see what it says. See, I can't undo from here if I'm not. That was not optimal. Okay, I'm 32. Alright, so this is tedious. Gotta do it again better. Okay, so I was at 90 when uh, a certain door that I can keep track of opened. I don't think pushing that with anti-me would be better than with Mimi. This all seems right so far. Do I want to do... Ah, uh, no. No, I don't. However, what I do want to do... is move you left when I do this. Because then you can circle this way and be a little more efficient about that. So that H for hint thing goes away at some point, right? It doesn't just stick around. Okay, 42 here. 90 is my checkpoint and I know where. So I just need the thing back on the thing. You know? As you do. Then I'm gonna ignore anti-me for a little bit. Probably not. No, no. You need to go in the hallway? All the way in the hallway? No. Maybe. Yeah, probably. That feels right. Okay, let's try this. From here, if I do that, that is better, better efficiency. Okay, I improved something. You will have to go back in the hallway. Like this, I think? No, 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 no. Um, maybe. Yeah, okay, that's right. You end up in that column where you can... No, 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 this is not right. No, you don't need to be in the hallway now. Down here. Over there. But no, no, no. Okay, so this is always a part that's confusing to me. Wasn't the hallway involved here somewhere? Yes, it totally was. Okay, I do this. I'm gonna move you out of the way so you don't push the box down. 
And then you go in the hallway, right? But somehow going in the hallway is good. Yeah, because it lines me up perfectly for that. Okay. Uh, I'm at a lot less than 90 right now. Now I need to push against this gate to get you back in the hallway. All the way? All the way. That's 90 again. That is 90 again. So 132 is what I had. Maybe I lost efficiency after I gained it. Maybe I didn't actually gain anything. Okay. Just like figuring out what checkpoints to set myself as part of the puzzle here. Yeah. So these have to be two separate operations. If I do it this way, the, the box gets eaten by the gate. So first the A gets pushed, then the B gets pushed. B is here. Uh, I can't open that yet. Okay, B is here. I have to go all the way back up. Okay, this is very awkward. Like, this part of the dance feels bad. That was a lot of what felt like extra moves. And that's 132 again. Okay, so... So add my 90 checkpoint. Right when that door opened. I'm just going to basically split this in two. If I can't get better move efficiency after 90, I'll try doing it before 90. I don't know why I've ch chosen 90. It's just like when I happen to look at the thing. Okay, so there was some bad feeling stuff here. If I did that... Oh, well, my box would... Uh, Disintegrate and also I would get lost. Maybe there's some stuff I can do right now to position you better for the future before I go mess with that box. Oh, this is much better. Yes, okay. So this kind of multitasking. Uh, right, I can't do that. But I can do this. That has improved things greatly, I think. At least a little bit. I don't know, looking at my numbers, I think they might be worse. They are worse. No, that's a 134. Why did that go wrong? Well, because it was more moves. Okay, well, I'm gonna perform a search in the pre-90 section and see if I can get there any quicker. Let's look at this very beginning. So I'm not interacting with anti-me at all up until 12 when I'm there. If I do this the other way around... That's much better. Is it? Well, yeah, so because I'm here only one turn later and... Uh, and also I can actually get through. Okay, so I think I improved something at the very beginning. That's what it looked like to me. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go this way. This feels right. Now for this part, I'm gonna push you down. And do this. So if I take the direct route... Put you up, push that down, it works out, like I make it. Now, okay. If I used the hallway right he he here, it feels bad. Okay, so hang on, how do I do this part? Like each part of this has a little bit of a different trick to it. Maybe that step? That step's a good one. Okay. Now, get you out of the way so you don't put A in an irretrievable spot. Ignore for a moment while I interact with B. Don't ignore too hard, though, because I'm going to need you back. I wanted you in the hallway right now, I think. Yeah, hallway saves me seemingly some, but then I landed at 90 again, so it 
it was not any saving at all. I feel like there was a small bit that I saved once, then I did this trick to save something else. But like, must have messed something up because I landed at 90 again later, so I might still not be on a good path here. I don't know though. Alright, so this awkward part. I ended up using the hallway for this. And hallway seems necessary. I can't do that. Okay, so go this way. Do this. Do that all the way in the hall. Or is it only one step in the hall? It's only one step in the hall. Okay. Uh, that looks wrong. So hang on. For this part... I use the hallway. All the way. Alright, 87. So I'm three ahead of where I was. Okay, so. I repeat what I know. Do these separately. I put that there. Now I could hallway you right now, and I think I probably want to because that just feels better. Ah, I don't think I multitasked this way by stepping from the conveyor before. Maybe I did? I don't know. That might have been better. I wish I could get myself against that wall up there, but I, it doesn't look like I can. That would save me, like, one step. Okay, so, here is 127. Complete. So, I need to do more. Alright, well I got my 90 down to 87. I'm probably gonna have to do better. Okay, I'm looking at this section right here, toward the beginning. I'm not sure what I did before, but whatever it was, I feel like I can maybe do better. Because there's a particular move I want to make. It should be possible to engineer. Ah, it should be. If I step left and bring you up this way. No, I need to... Okay. So you need to close that, sure. What if I bring you this way? No, what if I don't bring you that way? Okay, I'll leave you there. No, that's the best I'm gonna do, I think. I wanted the step that does this to coincide with my stepping off of this conveyor. Is there a way I can set that up? I think it's maybe with the hallway. See, I can't get you in the hallway and then be where I need to be. That's the issue. Okay. So no... Seems like that's not a solution. Unless... Okay, if I went all the way up... I'm too far down. Okay, I could do this... And that, and that's probably worse. So 25 with me right here. And that gate open. Well, okay. So, 27 with me standing on that gate. If I do that the normal way... Which is just to go up here and have you do this in a separate step... That's 24. That's clearly better. Okay. So that's not where I need to find my, my optimization. 87. Same turn. Okay. Well, I looked and I didn't see any good opportunities before this, so maybe it's after. But I looked there too and also didn't see. Well, I'm gonna keep looking. Wait, 128, 129. What did I do? That's still complete, so it's not better enough. What was my last score? Shoot, I don't know what's going on anymore. 88. So this seems like it's just a whole bunch of little micro-optimizations that add up. And this is why I'm trying to set myself checkpoints. Because something went, like, one move wrong there. But maybe two things went one move wrong. Maybe I can get to 86, but I just don't know. Ah, this is complicated. And, like, when I have the winning run, I won't really know what I did differently. It's just... 
bunch of little tiny decisions that make like one move differences. Huh. All right. Well, just just gotta work at it. Well, 127. It's better than that 129 I had. Is that good enough? No. I think 127 was my previous best, so I'm still missing something. Like, I think I did all the optimizations I know there, but but it's not enough. So, okay. So, which one of these is inefficient? Have I learned this well enough to just do it? So, when I do this, I end up on this conveyor at 14. Do I think that's the best I can do? If I instead do this, I end up on that conveyor at 16. So it is too better to have anti-me do that. I don't really have any other choices about moves there. This is just gonna move as it moves. I need to go up. I can send you now. And that's fine. Alright, so, 14 on the conveyor. Now, let's see, I guess I could have... I couldn't really have hallwayed you before that. Do I need to? Okay, so I'm here. I need you to push that block. Now, I do want to be here so there's a wall to myself. Okay. That seems about like the best I'm likely to do. I guess it would be better if somehow that could happen while I was on this conveyor. But I think I have no way for that. Hang on, okay, so let's measure. So this is necessary to get me through here. Doing it the way I was just doing it. Puts me in this corner with the gate open at 21. So that's as good as here with the gate open at 20. No, it's not. Okay, so 21... Well, in any case... Anti-me is in a... in a state, but... I'm, I'm on this gate at 24. I'll look at what's downstream from there in a moment. I think I'm gonna do this instead? No, 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 not that. No, I'm gonna... So right after this... I want you hallwayed. Ah. But you're not gonna hallway. What am I trying to do? Maybe nothing meaningful. Everything looks the same. So, whichever spot I need to optimize better is indistinguishable from the rest to me. Ah, now moving you down here is meaningful because that keeps you against this wall. Yeah, okay, so this feels familiar. And 32 in this spot, 31 in that spot feels familiar too. Okay. I go here, I do this, and that's almost certainly the best I'm going to do. Unless... Okay, sure. So let's examine that. This is another option, but it seems like a bad one. Because you don't end up in the right position if I do that. So no. I almost definitely want you against this wall. Then I push you up, I do this. And that's there. Mm -hmm. Now what happens here? I think I go one farther, push you down, go here, and I step off that as you close the thing. Okay. So then I move you over there, ignore you for a little while while I deal with B, stop ignoring you for a second to hallway you. Because I need you pushing down against the surface right here until this moment when you do that. Uh-huh. That seems right. D. 
Did I need to hallway you again? I think so. I need to partially hallway you right here. Okay, 78. So then, oh, hang on, right, I use this gate to hallway you now, full hallway. And check it out, it's 87. Okay. If I could do these not in the same step... Oh, hang on. I can't hallway right now. Because there are no walls anywhere near my right side. What if I push you upward? Does that help anything? No. No, that just makes it worse. It puts you farther from where I want you. Because I just want to move you here. See, we can synchronize here, but it's no good because the box gets squished. I don't want to synchronize there. There isn't some sneaky time I can, like, push this A off to the side, is there? No, because the puzzle ends with it on the goal. Like, I never can push it off to the side. Okay, so now B has to move, yes. Then I want you hallwayed. B goes there, I go up to here, we do this dance. Now you come to me. And it feels bad because I go into this hallway, but I don't see what I could do about that. And this is gonna be 127 again. Yep, 127 again. What? Okay, and that is not all complete. So somewhere in here, there is a step I can do differently, and I am not finding it. Okay, now, have I entertained the idea of anti-me being the one to bring B back? Why would that not be it? Maybe I am just actually doing this all backward. Maybe anti-me goes on an adventure, and I stay here and man the thing. Yeah, what would be wrong with that? Was there some turn order reason that that didn't work? Okay, yeah, so maybe I'm just, just doing this the wrong way around the whole time. Okay, so this is a completely different thing to think about. It's interesting. See, is it? Mm, there are a couple of spots where turn order matters. But otherwise, I want to do all the tricks the same way, pretty much. And there are no real tricks here. Just get there, do that, and that opens. Okay, let me check my numbers. Uh, your hallway, which is bad, I needed... While I was there, I needed to do some of that. Numbers look worse, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. I think the end can be simpler because I don't have to dodge around my other self. This one's straightforward. This one, I needed to go here and then do that. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, so there's a place where turn order matters. Okay, so here we actually need a different solution because turn order was key to making it through there. Yeah, okay, so how do I do this as anti-me? Maybe I don't. Maybe this is where the, the filter happens and I just cannot make it happen that way around. It kind of looks like it. I mean, I can't do that, of course. Because, yeah, that corner. Is there any way to turn this corner with rolls as they are? I cannot do that. I can put you there. But 
that doesn't mean anything. It still ends up in the same situation. Now I can go here. Oh, hang on, this worked. Okay, we just gotta go around the other way. Okay, so that was... That was you here. I go around this way. I go down and do this. Okay, there we go. So that does work both ways. Alright, you're ready to get B and ignore me for a little while, except you have to hallway me. I know how this goes on the other end. Okay, yeah, so, oh, right, turn order. Okay, so turn order means you want to be one farther along when that happens. Okay, sure. Alright, this is cool. This reversal. Um, I need to hallway myself. Partially. Just like that, okay. And now, do I need the hallway again? I think I do. Yes, okay, so you press against the gate as I go up here. It's a full hallwaying. Yes. Well, I could have gotten away with a partial hallway there if we were in the other order, couldn't I have? So I could have improved my score, I think. Maybe. I'm not sure. Anyway. You bring B to me, and your job is done. Oh, almost. I need... Uh, okay. Right, so two separate steps. Close the thing, then push the box. Okay, so op push the box, open the thing, now ignore anti-me, and I get here quicker. Okay, so it is quicker to send him in instead of me, and that's all complete. Okay, I just had to reverse rolls. Okay, that was an ordeal. So, there's still this cliff in my way. <laughs> my eyes feel a little funny now because I've been staring at so much green. And, like, this white looks different. Uh, hello. Uh, okay, we're going this way. Oh, there's no undo button out here. <laughs> I could have gone seeing myself. I don't think that would do anything, but I could have done it. Oh, jeez, where am I? Okay, I'm somewhere else. Okay. Okay, so, the things I experienced here, right, okay, so there's, wait, so how did I, how did I go, did I like, yeah, okay, so I pressed there to exit, and then I ended up in this place, which is confusing, um, where am I going, what is happening, I'm stuck, I, I'm stuck? What have I done? Oh, here we go. There's a passage here. Uh, I don't remember this happening to me last time I was in here. Uh, I know I blundered around a little bit in the dark, but this is, uh, this is extra blundery. So sure, I got to the machine, then somehow I got back. It feels like passages are opening up as I go through here, but maybe, maybe I'm just, like, not stepping in the right spot. So I stepped here, and then there's this. Okay. Okay, it is very dark in these hallways. Okay, and that gets me out. Okay, let's uh, take one more look in that hole and see if there was anything else to see. I thought I missed a something. Right, there's that swirly thing. What's with the swirly thing? That's a part I did not understand. Also, did I have a chance to... Okay, yeah, so I can go here. Where does this lead again? Remind me. Well, okay, it teleports me there. So the teleporter works both ways. You just gotta get all the way into the darkness and then it swaps. <laughs> Something a little scary if there's potential for, like, puzzles to use that. Okay, so this is an all-complete machine. Then, uh, this one you could access. This one I could access, but I don't know what to do. Do I have any insights here I didn't have before? So, like, I want to press around and see if I get, like, a move happening, which would indicate that there's a clone of me somewhere. Go around this thing in the swirl pattern. I don't think so. 
but yeah, like that move counter is not going up at any time that I'm pressing against walls. Yeah, so I think that's a pretty good indication there is not an anti-me here. Because there's no place I can stand. Unless there is exactly one asymmetry somewhere. And I need to exploit it in order to free anti-me. Okay, so what if... The swirl for anti-me is here. And we are now out of sync. Okay, so let's just picture, like, a ghost me who is standing two to the right of where I am. I'm gonna press against this wall. And no, move count does not go up. What does the swirl mean? I don't know. Yeah, because, like, if there was an exact mirror copy of this, just out of view of the camera, with, like, one small difference somewhere, then the move count would never move when I bump a wall, because anti-me would always be bumping a wall at the same time, until I found the one discontinuity that desyncs things. So maybe it's the swirl on my end. Okay. So swirl on my end. So picture a ghost me who is... One to the left, two to the left. No! No, bumping the swirl would move the move count then. Okay, so I, I cannot tell what's happening with this machine. Alright, so that... Uh, right, that's the exit button. <laughs> you know what, that's okay, I guess. <laughs> Alright, well, um, I know my way out of that cave now. Uh, next time, unless I have some idea of what to do with the swirl, we can... Uh, Escape that strange hole in the ground and uh, go to the Woodland Temple. That'll be fun.